Good morning. I'm not in the mood today. Some of us have lots of work to get on with. Oh, okay. Can I help then? If you want, see those trucks over there? Shine them into the siding just outside the station over there. That would be helpful. All right. Just don't go past the sign. What sign? Oh, that sign. Ah! Great! Now I'm gonna have to do with this! And I'm fine, thanks for asking. I didn't! You just cost me a siding! Oh, just stay there and I'll fetch Duck to help you out. Stay? That's all I can do. Oh great, it's you clumsy little engine! You've damaged our mine! We might never be able to cover the cost for something as big as this! It's only a sunken track. You went down the mine. Miners could be trapped. Uh oh. Doug told me about Thomas and Rosie not doing so well. It's the stress of the mine getting to her, apparently. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. The mines are a hectic place. Rosie would understandably be stressed, especially because they're near bankruptcy. Ollie, the way she's been going on, Rosie would think they're rolling in millions. Well, that's not what the workmen seem to think. Denial, perhaps? Possibly. But anyway, isn't it time you left for the goods train to Wellsworth? Nope, I was relieved of that job. Something big's happening on Gordon's Hill, and the traffic's too heavy for me to go around. Oh, you lucky old tram. The loss of the old, please. I don't need reminding, trust me. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Edward. You seem cheerful. What's gotten you so happy? Oh, nothing. Just one of those days. Nothing much to do. I might go to the washdown this afternoon. I've not had one in ages. Ah, well, enjoy it. You deserve it. I will. Oh, and you might get chunted today. They're doing something by your hill and it's something dangerous? Yeah, I don't understand either. Shunted? I'm the express. I'm supposed to be fast and punctual. I can't be shunted. I don't know what to tell you. Gordon! I'm about to shunt you up the hill. We need to be careful! Oh, the indignity. Thomas, I don't appreciate you palming off your work so you can go and see Rosie. So, you'll be in your shed for the rest of the day. You can go and rest up now because tonight you'll be working non-stop at that mine. Do we understand each other? Yes, sir. Good. Now go. <laughs> What am I going to do with that engine? Gordon, are you okay? It would. Oh my, I got shunted. Is that what the face is about? I did warn you. No, the reason I was shunted was because there's an unexploded bomb. Oh my lord! Thomas, why are you in there? Oh, uh, I've been put on night duty, if you must know. Good. You deserve to be punished for what you did. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry for that? Oh, just ignore me. I'm sorry. It's just difficult to handle all of this work. I'm not as young as I used to be when I arrived all those years ago. Nonsense, you're still in your prime. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. Anyway, I've got to get going. See you soon. Don't worry, I'll make sure that happens. Hmm, 
Perhaps other arrangements need to be made. It was massive, like a big boulder. Those little engines in the hills would be blown to bits by it. We would as well. Never mind them. I'm surprised Emily has the bottle to deal with something like that. Oh yes, that's our girl. Your girl, you mean? Pardon, James? <clears throat> um, as much as I don't want to stop this delightful conversation, I do have to use this yard to shunt. So would you be so kind as to, you know, get lost? Did you hear about the bomb? Oh yes, you said it so loud, I'm surprised the fat control didn't hear from his office in the station, which, by the way, is just over there. Actually, Doc, I did. Gordon, stop talking about such serious topics like his Thomas derailing or Edward breaking down. This is a sensitive topic, one that requires all manner of professionalism. I understand it's interesting and exciting, but let's not upset our passengers. Well, that's all you. Shut it, you little green toad. Look, I understand that you want all of this handled right now. I really do. But you'll have to wait for Sir Topham to arrive. No railway transaction should occur without him. Bother. I need to have this thing in Southampton docks by tomorrow. It's looking more and more unlikely every moment that your controller isn't here. I am now, Alfred. Emily, leave the truck and wait further down the line. There are some private matters I need to discuss before you take me back to Tidmouth. Of course, sir! Alfred, I know why you're here. To collect a bomb and dispose of it. Or to see if you can worm your way back onto this island. I've changed since my youth, Sir Topham. No longer am I that reckless child that did all of those bad things. I'm a reformed character. I've applied for a position of rescue engine, and my friends and colleagues all say I have what it takes. Trust me, Sir Topham. We'll see. Let's go, Emily. 